What's that? Someone has complained about us. It doesn't say who, but it says that we are to attend a mediation session at CMC. Community Mediation Centre? Must be that crazy guy upstairs. Do we have to go? It doesn't actually say we must, but this looks serious. But we haven't even done anything wrong. I know, but we've been complained and this thing can get out of hand, I think. Let's just go and get it over and done with. Up to you then. Hi, Leslie, it's me. Good morning. Good morning. For this case file. But I know you guys have gone through it already. The drumming has been going on for four years. And why after four years did it become such a problem? The report didn't say. The complainer has been tolerant for so long. Simple, could you lower it down, please? Should have been enough. So, we find the key. Mm -hmm. And what's the key? In this case, that would be... What was it that made it different this time round? What? What? Relax, girl. I'm just thinking. Okay, uh, what else? This is a noise dispute case. But most likely, both parties are not on talking terms. And? Well, which means we have to find out more about it. Hmm? Get them to talk about it. Okay, let's get them in. Okay. And don't call me girl. Mr. Albert Wee is here. Mr. Albert Wee, take a seat, please. Thank you for taking your time. You! My guess was right. Elijah, Joanne, please have a seat. Please. Albert, Elijah, Joanne, my name is Leslie. And my colleague here is Cindy. We're your mediators for today. I believe you know each other. Sometimes both parties actually get to eat, see each other and meet each other for the first time during mediation. Even though they may be staying together for, you know, for, for many years in a particular place. Um, so that's at that point when they first come together. Um, my mediators, first thing that they will do is actually uh, to... Uh, extend uh, uh, an appreciation for at least making an attempt to even come because that takes a lot for even you know two parties to come and, and be present so we actually tell the parties that we are happy to see them here because uh, it's not easy to, to make the effort so we thank them for coming and then once things are settled uh, the mediators make it very clear there are some house rules that they need to abide by as this is your first time at CMC let me state clearly that my colleague and myself are here to mediate. We are a neutral party and we are here to facilitate your discussions with one another. Our role is not to judge. We are not judges. So what that means is we will not take sides and we are not here to decide who is right, who is wrong. Because this is not what mediation is about. We'll not tell you things like what you can or cannot do or that you need to do this or that. We do not decide what you must do. You need to take ownership of whatever the outcome may be. And there are rules we must follow. My colleague Sini will outline these rules. Firstly, abusive language is not allowed. Civility is important here, all right? Next, now this is important. Both parties will get the chance to speak. When one party is speaking, the other party should not interrupt, no matter how painful that may be. Are we in agreement? Fine with me. Okay, let's start with Albert. Why don't you tell us what happened? What happened? That guy drumming is driving me crazy, that's what happened. What else is there to tell? My neighbours all tells me the same thing. Only different is, they are too polite to say so. Albert, for four years you have tolerated the drumming. Could you help us understand what changed? What can I say? 
When it first started, I just thought it was one of those things that it would go away. Be neighborly and tolerant. Then it didn't stop. I guess you just get used to the noise until... Until... Do I really have to go through with this? You need to help us to better understand what changed for you. A few months ago, my mother moved in with me. I'm a bachelor. She had a fight with my sister, Kat, and wanted to move away. After that, well, I guess like all old people, she can be a bit stubborn. So she's been staying with me since. She... She... She's failed. She didn't mind the noise. Oh, that's what she told me. But I guess I did. Yes, Ma. Wait for a while before you shower. Not good to bathe just after you're sweating so much. Okay. Feeling better? It's nothing. Just a bit of headache and lightheadedness. Nothing to worry about. I was reading until the drum started. It should be almost over. What is it? An hour? 40 minutes. Every Wednesday on cue. Like clockwork. Oh. What are they doing downstairs? <sighs> Until next week then. Hmm. You sure you're okay? <coughs> I'm taking a shower. <coughs> okay, thank you. Anafang, what's wrong? My mother, she had a fainting spell. Okay, okay, yes, I'll be right there. Mom, have some water. It's okay. Just a bit of low blood. I was moving too fast. Makes me dizzy and faint. Should have called me earlier. It's okay. Madam Fang and I, we help each other, you know. She was here. We were just having a chat. If you had been alone, maybe you should go back to Jiejie's place. I was not alone, was I? So forget it, son. I'm not going back to your sister's house until she apologizes. <laughs> not now. It's, it's okay. No, it's not. Shh. Just pack me to sleep. <laughs> Every Wednesday on cue. This guy is making so much noise. How is my mother going to rest? Would you like to go through mediation? Mediation? Isn't there anything you can do? There's no crime committed and they haven't broken any laws yet. But they are probably nuisance. Look, the best thing to do now is to sit down and talk things through. I try that. But it may be better if you have trained mediators to guide and help you. The Community Mediation Centre is quite good at this. How about this? Mediation. Okay. Why not? Better than nothing. Yep. You can reach CMC through our website. Actually, we have a website 
um, you can actually reach us through our hotline. Um, and sometimes cases are referred to us through our referral partners, actually. We have uh, quite a good collaboration, actually, with the town councils, with HDB, even with the police. Um, so and if the police hears of a case and they think that it's relevant for CMC to take it up, they will actually refer the cases to us. So that's another means of actually getting cases through to, to us, through our referral partners. Um, but we do have people actually calling us up through our hotline. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't realize my drumming was upsetting your mother. My mother and her people. Is this the first time you're hearing about this? Look, I didn't do this to disturb any of my neighbors. To me, my drumming is soft and soothing. Can you please tell us more about your drumming? He needs it for his meditation. I had anger management issues in the past. Joanne introduced me to meditation. Deep soul-searching meditation. But listening to meditative music, that's just not working. At one stage, my temper was so bad that Joy wanted to walk out on me. It was after that that a friend of mine suggested using a jam day to help me with meditation. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I need a drum. For what purpose? Rock band, cultural music, land dance? For meditation. Yes, we do. This is the jam day, African hand drums. Jembe. They are small and easily handheld, but they do require a lot of practice to get it right. Great. I'll get one of these. I can recommend a good instructor for you. Thanks. the question about the drumming but there's one thing our neighbor here has deliberately all conveniently chosen not to tell everyone here about that night they came to my place and assaulted my friends this is not an issue here today the issue here today is your drumming you heard that your infernal drumming albert please he has extended you the courtesy of not interrupting you please return the same courtesy elijah please continue well the night some friends dropped by. They were Japanese players, like me. Joy and I were preparing drinks in the kitchen. Hey, excuse me. Yes, who are you? Where's the owner? The hippie guy. E Elijah? Oh, what, what do you want? I want this bullshit to stop. You idiot and this! Hey, what do you want? What? You stop! What the? He hit us! He calls us idiots! I think we better leave now. I most definitely will not. You came here, insulted my friends, attacked them, and ruined my jambe. That was an accident. But him shoving me was not. You standing here is not an accident. Are you going to leave or not? No. Not until you do something about this infinite with ridiculous drumming. Every week. And not until you apologize to me. I'm calling the police. Fine. I have a word or thing to say to the police. Go ahead. You are a fool. And you are a hypocritical idiot. <coughs> Mr. Albert, you need to follow us to the station. Why do I have to follow you to the station? They are the ones disturbing the peace. We have witnesses who claim that you tried to attack them. And this is not actually your house, isn't it? And that was what they fit to tell you. And he complains and wants to make demands on us? Not gonna happen. The Thank you, Elijah. So, when did this happen? Before? Or after you went to the police station to file a complaint? It was the week before I went to the police station to make the complaint. Is this what actually happened? Yes, it was an accident. I have a slip on my clicks. My cycling shoes have metal clicks. Look, that night, I went downstairs to go for cycling.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. Yes, who are you? Where's the owner? The hippie guy. E Elijah? Oh, what do you want? I want this bullshit to stop. And this... This... Oh, 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 oh. What do you want? I sleep. And I didn't attack anyone. I'll go straight to the point. Albert has just explained what happened that night was because he had slept. He was going cycling and he was wearing cycling shoes with cleats. Evidently, these metal cleats can be very slippery. Yeah, a likely story. Elijah, did you actually see Albert deliberately kick your friend's jambe and attack him? Well, no. I was in the kitchen with Joanne, so, no, I didn't see what happened. But, I'm not going to start calling my friends liars. No, we are not suggesting that. Can you imagine how Albert must have felt? He came down to try and settle some things so that his mum could get some rest. But, he ended up being taken away by the police because of a misunderstanding. I... We understand the need for you to meditate and the need for the drum when you're meditating. Yes. Well, meditation helps us to find ourselves and to find peace in ourselves. That's very good. But what about your neighbours? Do you think they are able to share with you the peace that you have found through your meditation with the drum? What if, through finding inner peace, you actually create conflict in others, in your neighbours? Have you thought about that? I... We... That's not what we intended. Albert here recently has his mother staying with him, and she needs peace and quiet. You are taking sides. Joanne, you have a need to meditate. And Albert's mother has a need to find her peace and quiet. Surely, there must be a way we can meet in the middle? No, they are right. Just because no one said anything for four years, that doesn't mean anything. Look, it's getting late. We've been at this for four hours now. Let's get it over and done with. I guess I don't look hypocritical. He did call me a hypocritical idiot. Look, the drumming comes from you. Surely you would not expect Albert to do something about it, right? The answer to this situation must come from you. Yes? Why can't they just wear your plugs or something? <sighs> All right. I guess it is possible that in search for peace, I might be destroying the peace in my neighborhood. What do you want me to do? You have to decide. But one thing I can tell you is that there is a legal limit to the size of drums and possible noise decibel levels in HDB flats. Perhaps you would want to check that out? That didn't occur to me. Thank you. What can we do to sort all this out? Well, meditation is very important for us. And with me, I can only meditate successfully with a djembe. So... That is something I cannot stop doing. But I will move the meditation to one of the bedrooms. We will soundproof the bedroom to minimize the, the noise. And I will look into getting a smaller jack drum. Albert, will that be acceptable to you? Okay. As long as you can keep the noise, no. Drumming down, I guess I'm okay with it. But it's my mother, really, whom I'm worried about. I'm sorry, truly. Okay. If you can wait a while, we'll prepare the settlement agreement for both parties to sign. Great. Why don't we shake hands on it? Maybe a little meditation will help you. I can help you with that. Maybe. But one thing at a time. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that went pretty well. I may be new at this, but I think that most of our problems can be easily solved if we just learn to talk to one another. You made it sound so easy. <laughs>